just on a, a golden run at the moment. Oh, and he's bowled him! Well, Brad Haddon looking to the leg side, but it may have just straightened, and Shane Bond predictably gets the first breakthrough for New Zealand. Oh, what a beauty. We haven't seen much of this at all. It's been all about the middle of the bat from the Australians so far. But Bond has got one just to hold its line a little bit. Pitched a bat off stump and stayed on the line of off stump. And Brad Haddon has just looked to go mid on. He's gone for 12. Bowled by Shane Bond. And the New Zealanders have their first breakthrough. It's 50 for one. Second pass to Sam. Bowled him! Oh, just flicked the stump. So Mike Hussey goes now and Shane Bond has got through him. Well, the Black Caps have bowled brilliantly and they're finishing off the job here at the end of this innings. Shane Bond, the go-to man, and gets the big wicket of Mike Hussey. Hussey trying to go hard over the mid-wicket area. This occasion just missing, very full delivery, and that has just nicked the outside of the off stump and just enough to get rid of those bales. So Hussey goes for 59, Australia 7 for 252. It was short from Bond and Clark could not get on top of it. That is a horror when you've just lost a wicket only a few balls before. This is as a result of some fantastic bowling, some really good fielding, and all of a sudden the wrong shot to the wrong ball. And he's gone comfortably caught at mid on. He doesn't drop those. Bond strikes. That is a biggie for the Black Caps and the fourth wicket goes down. Michael Clark for 11. Australia struggling, four for 116. Gets him again, gets him straight, picks the field around, takes it. Yes, well done. That's Nathan McCullum. You can't keep the McCullums out of the field today. Yeah, good response from Shane Bond, although I think Mike Hussey will be disappointed that he didn't get that better. It was also in the slot. He tried to bowl at Fuller. Just couldn't quite get underneath it enough and hit it quite well, but picked the fielder out down there at long on. So he misses out on happy hour, Michael Hussey, but he batted well, 56. It's 2 3 8 for 6. It's gone! Caught by Styrus. The perfect start for New Zealand. From the penthouse to one, a lot lower down for Brad Haddon. Shane Bond strikes early for New Zealand. That's exactly what they need and what a game it is. 110 and then a first ball at your next game. And he just played from the crease. His feet went nowhere. And that's a good sharp catch diving away to his right. So Shane Bond, he is fired up and New Zealand get an early wicket. Two for one. Jim's on and he's come a cropper. This will be out with it. Yes, it will. Bond has bounced him. Sally's taken the catch. So the balloon trick has come up trumps. Oh, brilliant piece of work, whoever released that. That has completely thrown Brad Haddon off his game. Had to pull away, and then Bond thought uh, the old green balloon bouncer, two-card trick. And it just had too much pace for Brad Haddon's shot here. It climbed on him, and he got it very high on the blade, which means no power, no timing. And Tim Southey, the simplest of catches. So, yes, New Zealand have struck. And Australia are 27 for one, hadn't gone 17. Oh, that's a rough snorter. It's got a glove, has it? Has it got a glove? Yes, it has. Well, Ponding doesn't agree for one second. And Gary Baxter has been convinced by the New Zealand appeal. And is this a big moment? Well, I tell you what, this is nowhere near the glove. They have sold him here. Absolutely sold him here. Have a look at this. What it's done is it's swung after it's come off the helmet. It's it's just it's gone back and it's hit the helmet straight through to Hopkins. It's nowhere near the gloves. Oh, you've got to feel for Ricky Ponting. He's got to go. Yeah, just a horror. Sorry, Ricky. 27 for two. But uh, it's really up to the bowlers from here. That was wide and gone. So it's Horrocks, he just sliced it away. Scott Storris was the man who took the catch and Australia have now lost their eighth wicket. Yeah, it was wide. It did give him the opportunity to free his arms, but he didn't get enough timing on it. 
And he just really scythed it away behind point and Styrus got in the way of it. No trouble at all. So Horrocks goes for nine on Australia. Really now, it looks bad. 186 for eight. These two possess qualities that have never been seen before. And over the top, as far as the man in the deep, and it's Tim Southey who appropriately has the last say. He's bowled well, he's taken four wickets, and now he's taken a very good catch. And uh, here at the Wellington Stadium, at last, they have reason to get to their feet for the New Zealand cricket side. Yeah, it's probably going to be, now, be out of Bond and Southey, both four wickets. And Tim Southey, a pretty good catch running in, diving forward. So Shane Bond fig finishes with the figures of 4 for 26 off 9.1 overs. So a good end for New Zealand in the Chapel Hadley series, a win against the Aussies, and they'll be happy with that.